Hey, what's up? It's Jim and I just got back from the new film Red Dawn. It is the remake of the 1984 film of the same name, and in this film, instead of the Russians invading America and taking over for some reason, the North Koreans have taken over America and invaded for some reason, and this group of kids known as the Wolverines, led by Chris Hemsworth, is going to take back America from North Korea and fight them. The only reason I hear people talk about the original Red Dawn is really because it's so stupid. It was like, oh, remember that movie where Russia invaded the Midwest for some reason? And you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. That was such a goofy movie. I don't really think they came up with a reason to remake Red Dawn. MGM made this. They shot it a long time ago. I think it was made in 2009. It was supposed to come out around Thanksgiving two years ago. And MGM went into bankruptcy and eventually they sold this to Film District and now it's being released. And the original villain was actually China. It wasn't North Korea and they changed it digitally because, you know, Asian people look alike. So who's going to notice that one? When they made the original Red Dawn, there was a Cold War. And although, you know, North Korea and America aren't like best buds or nothing, I don't really think there's that kind of paranoia with North Korea. So it's very much like a studio picking a property because they're like, what could we remake that has some sort of brand recognition? But not thinking about the cultural relevancy to actually remaking it, which this film has absolutely none of. It's like idiotic. And the original film was quite a big hit in the year that it was released. I don't think this film will have quite the same mark that the original did. Why didn't you guys remake this post 9-11, have Al-Qaeda invade? That to me kind of works, it kind of makes sense because there's like a paranoia there. A big bad villain that would come and take over the US and do all this evil stuff and is against the American way. It's not the same amount of paranoia. We have this very brand recognition remake and that's all it's standing on. There's kind of not great logic that went into the original. The original's logic is stupid, but like doesn't explain itself that well. And this movie seems to have gotten even worse because you're basically only focusing on the Wolverines. So you're not really focusing on, in the original, you have all this stuff with the mayor and him dealing with the Russians and they're talking to him for some reason, because like you invaded why are you respecting the mayor's authority, but whatever. Why, why wouldn't you just shoot the mayor? I never understood that. But, you know, the character of the mayor is still there, and his son, who's played by Connor Cruz, the film focuses on the Wolverines. It doesn't cut to the North Koreans talking in a back room very much. It happens a few times, which is odd, because you it's trying to stay in this one perspective, but it breaks it, rather than the original that would cut between. The storytelling in Red Dawn is so terrible, I mean, the director of this, Dan Bradley, who's a stunt coordinator and a second unit guy, he should have stayed a stunt coordinator and a second unit director, because this film is so badly made. It's like somebody threw up three-act structure and tried to put it back together from these thrown up pieces to try to make something, because there's no real feeling throughout the film that there is three acts. I think it's kind of trying to do that, maybe sort of, but it's so unclear. When it ended, I didn't even think it was going to end. I was like, oh, that's the ending? I mean, like, right when you get to the very end, you get that it's ending, but there's no feeling that this is the big battle or anything. Just felt like yet another action sequence. This was a couple years ago, so I'll give him, this is something that I think has really Really become passe in modern action movies which is the incredible shaky cam in this which I always hate I hate watching an action sequence and going wait what happened what what just happened I the camera shook a lot and I saw guys fists and like you can't even see it in the theater you have to wait till it's on video and then you see the same sequence and go oh that makes a lot more sense like the only way you can really see this crazy shaky cam action sequence is if you sit in the fucking back row it's just not a well shot movie it's it's like really lazy a lot of the shaky cam and i don't think it ever looked very good i hate shaky cam and so a lot of the action sequences aren't even very well directed or well shot and the character development in this film is pretty much non-existent there's certain plot developments in the script that aren't really shown they're told to us through dialogue and very poorly this honestly feels like a bad tv movie remake of red dawn i'm surprised they didn't just dump this on a network as a tv movie this movie is just like a terrible, forgettable remake that your survivalist uncle would really like. I feel like your weird 
survivalist uncle would love and talk about like you know if, if that happens we'll rise up and you know you should learn some lessons from this this will help you later because this is gonna happen one day and that's as laughable as the film and the remake itself such a dumbass idea and the execution is just awful i used to really look forward to thanksgiving weekend not just because of thanksgiving i mean whatever but also because there would always be a cool b action genre film like faster ninja assassin stuff like that and now i have to settle with red dawn you have just shat on my Thanksgiving weekend, Red Dawn. You have ruined it. I want to see a genre B stupid action movie. And this can't even do that. It's not good at being a genre film. It's not good at being a war film. If there's any evidence of why MGM went bankrupt, it's probably that they thought remaking Red Dawn was a really good idea in 2009. Like, what is wrong with you? What a mistake it was remaking a dated film like Red Dawn. I always liked Red Dawn that it was very dated. That was something I always liked about Red Dawn. Like, God, remember the Cold War? And I can look at this and look at, wow, remember how stupid MGM was? No wonder they went under. So if you have seen Red Dawn and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.